Hey there, Libra. Welcome. Okay, I decided to do angel messages because it seems like a lot of people aren't really talking about angels. I mean, I mention them and I, you know, I encourage you guys to speak to your angels. You meet, need to ask your angels for help. They can't interfere. They're jumping up and down saying, ask me, ask me, I can help you. But they can't interfere, so you must ask them and you, then you must thank them. So um, keep that in mind when we do these, uh, this reading. I'm doing like mini readings here. And then what I'm doing is um, the first one and the last one. Um, think of a question. So you could pause this for a minute and think of your question and then um, resume it when you're ready. Um, so that we can, because these here, this, this certain deck here has yes, no, maybe, and, and different things in it. So, um. Don't mind me. I'm tired. I just want to make sure that I got your reading done. You're the last one I had to do, so I want to make sure I get done so I can post it. This is um, Sunday night, and I want to make sure I post it for Monday morning. Mm -hmm. So, guys, um, yeah. And I'm good. Yeah, so I'm pausing in between so that I don't waste your time with the shuffling. Okay, so let's begin. Let's see here. The situation will improve. Okay, let's do a weekend on that. Do a couple more cards here. Surrender and re surrender release here. Okay, let me get another one. School lessons okay so either that means that you're going back to school or you could take um some classes or i mean this could be a workshop this could be a course it doesn't have to be something long drawn out it could be you know something that you know, even researching something so there might be something you have to you have to learn about or something there more something more has to come out maybe okay let's see what we get on this So we have here, okay, so then you might be fighting for something here. We got the seven of wands, seven of fire. So it's stand up for yourself and your beliefs, have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. Okay, so that might make sense to you. And we have here the king of wands. So you could be king of fire, king of wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role. Step into the spotlight. Public speaking. Keeping your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. Okay. Seems like you're, um, you got to stand up for what you believe and you might be in a leadership role. Maybe you have to learn something for that. Um, we have here, this is actually the Ace of Water, Ace of Cups here. I look at this, I always think as a page because it's a young person here. But we have here a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. Okay, if that's what you're looking for, it looks like, you know, things will be working out here. Feels like things are going to be working out all around. Um, it could be business, career. It could be love. Family at the home. Okay, let's get some clarifiers here. What else do we have out there? Why do we have the seven of fires, seven of wands? Okay, so we have the ten of earth. Beautiful. Okay, so... This is a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Okay, so Ten of Earth is Ten of Pentacles. Ten. Um, this could be commitment. It also could be financial security here, money coming in. And um, yeah, so find the little things in life. You say, if you're grateful, what you're grateful for, if you're grateful, you'll get more to be grateful for. So you... Um, to be grateful for things is help us bring more in. So I, I'm getting that. Let's see what else we have here. 
We have the Five of Water. So someone might feel they missed out on an opportunity or they have a lot of regret and remorse with this Five of Cups. We have things not turn out the way you hope. Not seeing the positive in situation. Crying over spilled milk. See, that's what that's here. To be grateful for what you have will give you more to be grateful. If you're going to dwell on what you don't have, you're going to have more that you're going to have to be upset about. Okay. So we have here the two of earth balancing things out, two of pentacles. We have here too much going on at once, the need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Okay, so if there's some kind of decision you have to make, um, go a little more lightheartedly, um, more playful about it. And that will help. Okay, I'm going to pause it here for you guys. So um, I'm going to put the cards away, shuffle them up a little bit, and then go on to the next one. Okay, guys. On to the next one. I have six different angel decks I'm working with right now. So let's see where we're going with this one. Ooh. Enchantment. Ooh. I like that. The card also looks pretty on the table. I like it on Wolfie's head. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Why do we have enchantment here? We have here the sun. Yes, the sun. Happiness. Leo energy. We have here a time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. So, this looks good. Happy, happy, happy. I'm so happy for you. Why is it crooked? Okay. Okay. And, ooh, okay, this is a seven of air, seven of swords. This is someone trying to get away with something, someone hiding something, um, keeping secrets. This could be lying, chilling, stealing, cheating. I'm sorry. I'm tired, so I'm going to be tongue-tied here. Um, so we have a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Hmm. All the other, these two cards, other cards look good. So, we'll see. I wonder why we got that. Hmm. Oh, now we have the Knight of Water, the Knight of Cups. So, this Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. So, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. A love of art and poetry. Alrighty. So, you could be having someone coming into your life. Here. The Knight of Cups. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Now, that could also be a love of something or something. It doesn't actually always have to be love for you guys that don't want love coming in. It could be a love for something else. A love for doing something new. Okay, so. The Sun. We have the Strength card. Isn't that interesting? We have two Leo cards. Okay, the Strength, Archangel Ariel. And we have here, Great Inner Strength, Release Harsh Judgments, Forgiveness and Compassion. Okay, maybe something's coming out. And maybe this is saying, when something is being revealed here, maybe when someone's done, done something wrong, and um, maybe you have to forgive them. Okay, let's see what we get. That, well, this is strength and sun together. So very strong clarity, too, um, coming in. So let's see about this seven of air, seven of swords. Eight of water. Ooh, so you might be walking away from a situation when you find out something. Let's see here. So a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Okay, maybe you're going to find out something and it's something you just need to walk on away from. My I would say forgive and walk on. Move on. Walk on. <laughs> See, I'm tired, so my words are going to get all messed up. We have the King of Fire. Um, very strong. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Leo for you guys, if that means something. Um, but this could be your energy here. This could be that you're... Because um, maybe you're getting an opportunity to be a motivational speaker, or maybe you already are. Uh, let's see, we have here 
uh, motivational, idealist, ambitious. Uh, you got a lot of charisma here. We have focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So either this is your energy or someone you're dealing with. Um, but it could be that you're going to be in a leadership role. You know, for someone here, I'm feeling that someone actually was maybe trying to hide this position that maybe became available, knowing that you would be perfect for it. I don't know. That's just coming out of the blue. And that could be why this is here. And then you might find that out. Might be someone you work with. So maybe a friend or someone. And you might be saying, you know, fine. I forgive you and I'm done. I mean, and sometimes it's not worth the hassle to argue with someone. I mean, I I found in my life a lot of times if I find out something, you know, it like sort of, I, there's someone that I worked with. And I had a, mm, you know, my intuition was telling me something. But she seemed, you know, really nice and and you know a spiritual person a lot of spiritual people are not that nice because they're they're in it for what they can get they're not really spiritual they try to act spiritual but then you find out all their actions they're not acting spiritual at all well anyway this person um was like acting like i always thought she was so great so great so great well um we went through a med. I, you might have heard the story. I told it a couple of times, but but it's just because I like to relay. You know, sometimes the way things happen and what what happens. Um, I've been through a lot of different classes. I've been doing this for many many years, and I um, had a meditation class where we went back in past lives, and I record one my past lives. And she asked me because we were going to a meditation later that night for past life regression, and she never had one for. She goes. What did, and did you ever have? I said I had many past life regressions, and I remember and I recalled one, and I told her all about it. Later that night, she went before me um, to say when we went through a meditation, um, what was happening, and I almost I could feel her like stirring and stuff, and that um, it, it feels like I don't know she wasn't getting anything. So since she didn't get anything, she told my whole story that I told her earlier that day I said okay I never said a word to her and um you know when it came to my turn I said I said what I saw and everything like that but I never said a word to her from then on I knew I'll never ever trust this person again and I didn't and I never told her anything again that was of importance and sometimes that's what you have to do. I'm picking these up while I'm talking to you guys. I, I wasn't going to do that. All right, guys. So we're going on to the next one. <laughs> I got lost in that. Okay. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to pause this here so I can pick up these. And that's, but that's the way I do it anyways. I want to tell you. I put them in between. I don't like put them on the bottom or the top. And then I shuffle them to make sure that they really get um, incorporated well here. All right. So we're going to go on to the next one. I just felt like someone needed to hear that story. Sometimes, you know the whole uh, moral of the story was that sometimes you don't have to get into arguing with someone or anything else you say okay i took that as a sign from my guides and stuff you can't trust this because they're sending me little singles but i wasn't really getting it so they had to show me something so they showed me that i mean she just just took my whole thing and stole it right in front of me and and then stayed it right in front of my face and said all right she's probably wondering why i never said anything she, you know, she was probably be like, oh, I didn't know what to say, so I, because I, I know exactly, she did not get anything, so she, um, said my story, but I just okay, and then after that, she never, I never confided in her ever again, and I mean, I'm sure that bothered her, but to me, that was my heads up to not to trust. So that's that's the story I'm trying to come across here. Is sometimes you just need to know something to know that you can't trust someone and that's what this card feels like to me for someone okay so we're gonna go on to the next one but i am gonna pause it so i can clean up and not waste your time but i was telling the stories i wasn't wasting your time <laughs> okay so let's see what we get out of this deck now where are we going with this for libra please nettle oh i got two. Oh, got two so we have nettle and we have lucid dream so boundaries caution oh look at that boundaries and then we have here lucid dream so awareness opportunities 
You know, it almost feels like this goes right with the story I just told you guys. It's like setting up your boundaries and taking caution with someone. And then lucid dreams almost reminds me of like, um, being, you know, meditation and going to the past life thing. Awareness of opportunities. Okay, it's kind of weird that they're like together though. It's like, okay, so we'll put those there. And let's see why we have that. So you're going to have some very strong dreams. And it might be in these dreams. Okay, now, now they're 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 starting to really start talking to me here in the dreams you're going to find out about opportunities so if you can take a pad and a pen and put it next to your bed or um even on your bed so that if you wake up in the middle of the night you can scribble you don't have to open your eyes just scribble something that you can more or less figure out in the morning because if you see it, you'll figure it out. But otherwise, if you say, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember it because it was so strong or so vivid. Or it was, oh, I couldn't forget this. You'll forget it. So make sure you do that. And then this is something about boundaries and caution. You're going to be dreaming about maybe setting boundaries or being cautious about someone or something. But you're also going to find out about some kind of opportunities coming your way. Very nice. Okay, let's see. what's going on with this so we have here okay we have okay yeah it makes sense three of swords some kind of hurt some kind of betrayal some kind of pain here but in this card it says great sadness that will heal with time let go of the past personal growth that comes from challenges healing misunderstandings being there for those in need but a lot of times the, the three of swords is some kind of betrayal so it might be something you have to deal with. So it's coming up. The boundary you might have to set. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. Okay. So with the Wheel of Fortune is a number 10. So a fresh new start of the end of a delay. Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. Yay. And we have awakening. God, it feels like you are awakening to something or someone. And I'm saying something that someone's doing feels very, but it's okay because it almost feels like you have to know this. It's a lesson. It's growth. And it's also, it makes you more aware of other things. It almost feels like you're becoming more aware of your surroundings. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that you've been more like, perceptive of things or maybe your peripheral visions getting stronger or there's something or just a knowing or a tingling or something i'm getting very strongly for you guys that you're tapping into your intuition a little stronger here so now there's this awakening card here this is um yeah because this is the hangman pisces energy a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you see things in a whole new light Embrace your own uniqueness. Charitable actions. Okay. Yeah, you are shifting here, it feels like. There's an energy shift going on with you guys. You're becoming aware. You're, you're like, let's say that's seven of swords. I keep on getting thrown, shown that card. It's very strong that you are be, just, you're getting a heads up. To prevent you from um, putting any more energy or time into someone or something. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the Eight of Air. Okay, this is an illusion of being trapped. A lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action. Ah, see now if that... Why they keep on showing me that Seven of Swords. Someone might have said something to you that was totally false. To put you in this energy here. Then we have here, oh, we have the Knight of Air. So this is this is a go-get energy. This is, um, you are an air sign anyway. So um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. This is the Knight of Swords doesn't back down. The Knight of Swords is can-do attitude. And that's exactly what you have. So we have here, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. 
Okay, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Create a solution. Looking good. I almost feels like you're going to have a couple little bumps, but you're going to like go right over them. No big deal. And we have here the Knight of Water. Knight of Cups. Okay, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love or wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So, expect to be invited somewhere here. Romance is in the air. You might be dreaming about that too. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to pause this. And we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. And we'll see what this deck wants to bring us. And then I'll go back to that first deck with the questions. So if you have a question you want to um, put together for the next spread. But this, this one you don't need a question. Let's see. Well, coming out with this one. Cut your cords. Now, Archangel Michael is the one who does the cord cutting. So if you want to Google Archangel Michael, that will help you to figure out how to cut cords if you need to. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationship, freeing you from destructive patterns. Okay, yeah, so we're going to do a little cord cutting here. Okay, so let's see. So there's something coming in here that you might have to remove yourself from or attachments from someone. Now, with the cord cutting... It doesn't mean that you're going to cut off a connection. It means you're going to cut off their hold on you or their attachment to you. Or if you feel like someone is like, you feel like attachment from someone that you don't want it, you could just do court. And sometimes if it's really strong, you might have to do it a few times. But you definitely just Google um, Archangel Michael court cutting and you'll, you go through a meditation and that'll help you. So let's see. And please don't forget to ask the angels for help. Okay, we have here... Okay, so we have the five of pentacles here, the five of earth. So this says, negative thoughts manifest into real challenges, fear surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. Okay, this could also, why am I brought back to that? They keep on showing me that seven of swords. So I'm going to say that maybe that's the person you have to cut cords with. Because maybe there's something like they're... They might have, a, they might be a person that throws negative um, thoughts your way or, you know, like, or they say things that put you in your head and it's, you know, it's not true. Whatever they're saying is totally not true, but they know they can have that control. So you might have to cut your cords with that person. Cut their cords, cut them off. Let's see. We have here the 10 of air which is 10 swords you're putting an end to something i feel like you're going to get a good handle on this and you're going to it's kind of nice i like the 10 of swords with the cut the cords yes 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 so the end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both the opportunity for new happiness a weight off your shoulders the end of addiction a melodramatic reaction so you might end up cutting ties with this person and they might really act out because they and i feels like a narcissist energy it feels very very heavy and very lower energy so i'm you're a higher vibration i gotta cough so I'm, i had to get a sip of water because i'm with these cards because i read them what they say on it is has been my throat is getting really dry yeah so there's an ending to something and someone's not gonna be too happy about it but you know it's be definitely better for you Okay, look at this. We have the Knight of Air again. Knight of Swords. Taking charge here. We have decis decisive, focus, driven, defensive, events that move with great speed, choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional, sudden or unexpected changes, review your options carefully. Yeah, you're moving on from something here. You need to cut cords with someone and you need to move on. Okay, let's see. we have here four of fire so um this is like the four of wands we have contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project yes things are just shifting there you're, you're going through a like a transition period and everything can work out in your favor it looks really good okay so we have the five of earth so this is 
fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. Okay. okay. One more here. And A of Fire. So this is events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Okay, things are going to take off you. Um, stay positive. More than anything, make sure you cut cords with whoever that person is that the angels want you to cut cords with. Um, Archangel Michael. Bring Archangel Michael in around to protect you. Archangel Michael is the protector. So cut cords. And then anytime you might feel that you're feeling a little vulnerable or a little uncomfortable, call in Archangel Michael. Say, please surround me with white light. Protect me. Don't forget to use the white light. Protect yourself with white light. But see around whatever this negative energy is. Because it's really just more about anything. I don't think they're very harmful um, physically, it's just that they say things. I'm feeling like this person says things that gets deep down into your your mind there. And that's not good because you're going to believe them. And they're totally not true. They are not true at all. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the last one. So think of your question. And I'm going to... Okay, guys. The last one. Let's see what we have going on for you guys. Listen to your intuition. Okay, so let's see what we get on that. Okay, I, that's how I, I go up and down. I go so, straight across. Now they want me to go straight across. So I'm listening to my intuition. Okay, we have here the three of our three of pentacles. We have do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and ex excellent reputation. Okay, sounds good. And then we have the ego. Okay. <laughs> Capricorn energy, we have the illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. And you definitely could be working through something. It could be some kind of addiction, bad habit that you're working through. You're, you're going you're gonna to overcome it. So we have here, look at this. We have... I, this 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 cracks me up. This is the page of air, page of swords. This sword is bigger than this kid. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have here logical, perceptive, um, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. Now, of course, this is the page of source, so it's like research, looking into something. Maybe someone's watching you or looking into what you're doing here, too. I mean, a lot of times I see the page of source as could be someone is watching you. If you're online, someone is watching you. You know, there's, you're getting attention. Someone might want to collaborate with you. Okay, let's see. So we have here the star. Yeah, see, that's because of this card here. Someone, Someone's ego might be getting big, too, because they're getting a lot of attention here, too. That could be that card here, too. We have here the star. Archangel um, Jophiel. It's happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. Uh, you're on the right path. Aquarius energy here. Okay. Now let's see what else we have. And we have eight of earth. Yes. Skilled work is rewarded. Learning all that there is to know about a topic. It could be um, going back to school. Now, 
I want to point out because some people say, oh, I don't, I can't go back to school because I'm working. I need to pay my bills. This could be a course. This could be a workshop. It doesn't have to be, you know, something. It also could be doing in increments. It doesn't mean that you have to go, you know, it could be just learning something or, um, you know, online. You know, on the like a little bit on the side or something. Or or you can even have, there's even courses that you learn at your own pace. You know, whenever you need to, you know, when you have the time, you, you, you know, you study something. So it could be something like that. So don't, um, you know, there's all different ways of doing that. But it looks, looks good. And your work is standing out. You're getting attention. It's definitely, I mean, this is all over this reading that people admire your work. Okay, we have here, look at that, the Ace of Air. Love it. So we have brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. But this is also cutting out what does not belong. Ace of Swords. You know, removing stuff. But you are getting opportunities here, new beginnings. Things look good. Things are shifting. Things are changing. There might be a couple little bumps, but I don't think it's anything you can't handle here. So, and you're very intelligent, so looks good trust your intuition and and ask the angels for assistance they cannot interfere you need to ask them for assistance and always thank them so like i even put it out there that you know ask them you know for a parking spot and then when you get that parking spot where magically it appears when there's no parking spot to be seen and you get it just make sure you thank them because you always should thank them for all the help because the more you're grateful for, the more you'll have to be grateful for. The more negativity you put out there, the more that you'll receive that you'll be that will be negative. So keep that in mind. Um, just I want to thank you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Um, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up there and leave a comment because it really does help my channel. And um, but thank you all for all your likes, your shares, your your um, super thanks, your comments i appreciate all your your subscribes i say that i don't know i'm tired <laughs> but um i appreciate you guys so much thank you i hope to see you all again real soon thank you very much